He's such an awesome God. Hallelujah. We don't have to be bowed over. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We can shake the devil off. We can shake the devil off. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We can shake him off. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Ah, he's so worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you know, last night, last night, last week, last week I was talking about praise, and I had praise and prayer. And so last, this morning, I guess before day, uh, God began to speak to me. He said, no, I'm not ready for you to go to prayer yet. He said, I need you to talk about worship. And so we just go, Sarah, can you pass my, out my papers? We're going to look at worship tonight. Because how many of you know praise and worship go together? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know God is shifting us? And, you know, I'm so glad that we're just allowing him to continue to just shift us. Amen. And we're not resisting God. Amen. Glory to God. When God say change, now do it another way, we're just going to do it another way. Amen. Now my plan have to go out the window. Amen. And so I'm not going to apologize that I'm not teaching on prayer. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to get to prayer. Glory to God. God's timing is perfect. How many of you know that? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So tonight, we're going to be talking about worship. You know, I looked up that word, and I put it on your paper, and it says worship is to bow self down, to crotch, to fall down flat, to humbly beseech, to make obedience, obedience, uh, do reverence, to make to stoop, Worship, And they say worship is to honor with extravagance, love, and extreme submission. True worship is the matter of the heart. Glory to God. True worship is the matter of the heart. What is the condition of your heart? How many of you know that some people can't truly worship God because their heart is not right? Mm-hmm. Glory to God. You know, in John chapter 4, I want you to look at John chapter 4. It's on your paper. This is where Jesus was talking to the woman at the well. And he said, he was telling her, he said, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The thing that we got to realize about worship, you know, we can't see God. How many of you know that? And so it's a faith thing. It's a faith thing and it's a heart thing. You got to do it by faith and you got to have the love of God on the inside of you. And it says in Exodus 34 and 14, it says, For thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. You know, if you start in the, you know, in the Old Covenant, you see where God told his children. He said, I don't want you to have no dealings with idol worshipers. He said, you know, he wanted them to stay pure. He, that's what God wanted was purity, pure people. He said, that's why he said God is a spirit, and he must worship him in spirit and in truth, and he wants true worshipers. And so God told the, his children, he said, now, when he, when he was bringing them into the Canaan land, he was bringing them into the land that is flowing with milk and honey. He told them, he said, now, I don't want you to have any dealings with any of the Ikes or anything like that because what will happen is that you would get with them and your heart would go after their God. And how many of you know, just like God told them, that's exactly what happened. 
How many of you know a lot of time in our lives, God tells us certain people not to be around, but we tell ourselves that we are mature and we are able to handle these people. Oh, I can handle them. They won't influence me. You know, I, anything, I'm going to influence them. But the bottom line, if God tell you to come out from among somebody, the best thing to do is just come out from among them. Amen? And that way you won't be worried about whether you're going to get, because you know how many of you know the devil come in a little bit at a time. He don't just jump out all at once and say, worship me. No, he, he, he baits you. He give you a little stuff. He give you a little bit at a time. And you start eating the devil's bait. And before you know it, he give you some more bait. And before you know it, you over in a trap that you never intended to be in. So when God say that, you know, I don't want you worshiping no other God. God say, I am a jealous God. And I don't want you to worship no other person. You know, we get in trouble when we put man before God. We get in trouble when we put our houses, our cars, our jobs. We put everything before God. God is standing and looking. He said, I'm, I'm not going to put up with that. He said, you're supposed to be mine. You're supposed to be in love with me. You're not supposed to have no other God before me. How many of you know when another God show up, you have a tendency not to obey the real God? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In Psalm 96 and 9, it says, Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear reverent before him, all the earth. How many of you know, you know, you, 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 you know, you see on Sunday morning, you know, you see some people bow on their knees when worship really get heavy. You see, some people just fall straight out. You know, it's so many different ways that you can be, you know, when you begin to worship God. But the bottom line is, when we see somebody is falling into that worship arena, we need to do what? Leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Because the bottom line is, they trying to go somewhere, and they don't need anybody uh, uh, distracting them. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we have to be very careful, you know, because uh, uh, the only time that I really cry is when I'm in the presence of God. I, I really don't cry, you know, other than that. It's in the, so when I'm, you're seeing me crying, it's because of the awesomeness of my father. Just I go to feel in his presence, and it's like he just overwhelms me. And I have to watch it sometime because when I close my eyes, I will go so deep in there until, you know, I have to open my eyes to come back because it's like I'm going so deep that I can lose myself. And so you have to be, people worship God in different ways so you can't say somebody is not worshiping God because they're standing. You can't say they're not worshiping God because they're sitting. You have people worship God in different ways. And so we have to learn that so we can let our judgmental spirit go on out the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because what we try to do is put everybody in the same box. And everybody is not the same. Amen. God don't deal with all us the same way. The bottom line is, if God tell you to fall on your knees, you need to fall on your knees. And it don't matter who looking, don't matter who, what prestigious person is in the room. You need to fall on your knees, amen? If God tell you ain't nobody looking like they want to come to the altar, but God tell you, I want you to fall uh, at the altar. I want you to fall prostrate at the altar. You need to make it to the altar, and you need to fall down because you don't know what God want to do for you. And so what we got to learn in, in, in worship is, a, it, like I say, it's obedience of the heart. It's a matter of the heart. Some people are so, you know, into themselves, and they think they all that until they can't cry, you know, in the presence of God. They can't get on their knees in the presence of God because they all that. But, you know, I, I, I want to encourage you tonight. If you are, you, you're not, you're not uh, humble, you need to humble yourself. If you haven't already done it, you need to humble yourself. And you need to learn how when you come in the presence of God, forget about your name, forget about your title. You forget about everything. 
And when I come into the presence of God, it's not about you, it's about me and him. Because I'm trying to go somewhere. I'm trying to reach something in the realm of the spirit. And so we got to learn that I don't care who you are. I don't care what your title. I don't care, you know, whether you're a doctor of the law, doctor of whatever, whatever, whatever. The bottom line, with God, you ain't nobody. Come on. I'm not talking about you not nobody, nobody. But I'm talking about you not nobody that you got to be all that in your own eyesight. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Glory to God. And so... What God is doing is what he what he's doing for us. He wants us to have results when we pray. He don't want us to just pray to pray, but he wants us to come into his presence the right way with our hearts right so we can get results. Mm -hmm. And so that's what he was telling me. He said, that's why. I want you to talk about praise and worship because sometimes when you begin to praise God, the next step is worship. You, you carry yourself right on in, like I was telling you last week. Praise will take you into the throne room, but worship will tell you, take you behind the veil. You got to learn how to worship God until you dissipate until you just die. You know, you forget all about your legs, your arms, your hands. You forget about everything. And you just worship. You go into the throne room of God and just begin to worship God. And so God was saying to me, I'm going to take you all to a place where you're going to hear me so clearly. And you know how he said that my sheep hear my voice. They know my voice. They hear my voice. And the voice of a stranger, they will not hearken to. You won't listen at the voice of a stranger. How many of you know it? If you can worship your way into the presence of God, how many of you know the devil can't speak to you there? Mm, my God. And so that's what God wants us to learn how to do is just get rid of us and get rid of the devil because we have played and been with the devil so long until we know what he's talking. But we got to get to the place where we know what God is talking, when God is talking and what God is saying to us. There is a place. There is a place. God is trying to take us. That's why little by little, little by little, God is shifting us. God been shifting us ever since the first of the year. When he say a renewed, a, a fresh anointing for a renewed church. A fresh anointing, a fresh anointing. And so we have to learn how to just shift with God. And God is shifting us directly into his presence. See, at one time, you know, it, it would take a while in order to get God's glory to come in this place. But how many of you know the more we worship God in this place, the less time it takes? How many of you know that? It, it, it don't take no time no more to get God to come on in this place. And you can feel the presence of God. You, you can, it's tangible in this place. That's because we are forgetting about ourselves and we're learning how to just praise and to worship God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And in Isaiah chapter 6, and I, I want to read this. In Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1 through 4, it says, In the year Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting up on a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple in the year of my idol when he died <laughs> I saw the Lord there are some idols in some of our lives we got to allow those idols to die when you begin to pray when you try to worship God you take your idol with you and so we got to learn. One thing I want you to understand, when you're going after true worship, you're going to have to lay your clock aside. It ain't about time, what time it is. That's why you need to have that place in your home, an altar. You need to have an altar in your home where you have built, where you, you don't set it up for nobody but you and God. And you need to have a time where you set it aside and say, I'm going in here to be with my father. 
and you leave your watch outside, you leave your telephone outside, you leave everything outside except for you and God alone. Glory to God. In the year he, Uzziah died, he said, I saw the Lord. In the year I got rid of Selim, when I got rid of me, I kept trying to take Selim to God, the throne room of God. But I had to quit trying to take Selim with her attitudes and all this stuff. And I had to ask God to help me. Lord, deliver me. Set me free. Because how many of you know, when you go into the presence of God with attitudes and you hang on to them attitudes, can't nobody change you. If God can't help you with your attitude, can't nobody else help you with it. And so that's why you got to get to the place where you go into the throne room of God. You go in to God's presence. And you tell God, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of going through what I'm going through. I'm sick and tired of not being able to hear your voice. And God began to tell you what you need to let go of. You need to let go of this. You need to let go of that. You need to go let go of this. You need to let it go. How many of you know if God, if God, if you couldn't let something go, God wouldn't tell you to let it go. If you couldn't crucify your flesh, God wouldn't tell you to crucify your flesh. You crucify your flesh by not feeding it. <laughs> stop feeding that demon. Whatever the demon is that's controlling your life, stop feeding it. If, a, if it's a spirit of anger, you feel yourself <laughs> getting angry, you tell the devil, devil, you're a lie. You done made me get angry for the last time. I'm not getting angry over, I'm not getting angry over that no more. I'm not, I'm not. Even though it may take I don't know what to do it, but you got to stand your ground and you got to tell the devil, you're not going to control my life and keep me from going into the throne room of God any longer. You're not going to do that to me. We got to leave all our stuff on the outside. And we got to let it go. I don't care what it is. Unforgiveness, I don't care who done, who done done something to you. You still got to let it go. You got to let it go. Our excuses is not going to work in the throne room. I just want you to know that. They're not going to work in the throne room because God has given us the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost can take care of everything that we're going through. The Holy Ghost can take care of everything that we are going through. And so we got to learn how to allow the Holy Ghost to take over. Glory to God. Isaiah chapter 6, 1 through 4. Above it stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face. And with twain he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy holy, holy it's the Lord of hosts the whole earth is full of, your, of his glory my God, holy 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 the whole earth is full of his glory and they began to say that until what it says and the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried and the house was filled with smoke. How many of you know, how many of you could think about what it would be like if we all came in here and we got on the same page and we began to worship God with a pure heart. I mean, you know, just we, we get rid of all this old, old dead stuff. We've been caring for 15, 20, and 30 years. We just, we just decide, you know, I'm going to love my brother. I'm going to love my sister. I don't care what they've done to me. Lord God, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to let it go. I just want to be able to get on one accord with the people in this house. And we just get together as one man. And we begin to say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is to come. My God, we be holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And we forget all about ourselves. And we forget about people. And we just get on one page and see ourselves. You know, I can be in the midst of a whole lot of people. But when I get to worshiping God, I forget about all these people. And it's just me and him. 
And so we got to learn how to do that. We got to worship God, no matter who's looking. No matter what, you know they just finished talking about you. I don't care what you said. I don't care. It's not important. <laughs> when they come to the presence of God, I don't care about what you're talking about, no way. Come on now. We got to move on out of that childish place in order to get God's glory up in this place. And then we go to Revelation. And it says in heaven, <laughs> and the four beasts had each of them six wings about them, him. And they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night. They rest not what? Day and night. Saying what? Holy. 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 Lord God Almighty. Which was and is and is to come. It says the four, the, the, and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him. And they were full of eyes within. And they rested not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when these beasts give our glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever, it says, The four and twenty elders, they fall down before him, they sit on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Glory be to God. They saw the beast worshiping God. And the four and twenty elders, they fell down before him that sat upon the throne. And they worship him that liveth forever and ever. And they cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure, thou art and were created. And that's what God is asking for us to do on this earth. Is to take off our crowns. Take off our titles. Take off everything. Take it off. If you say you love me, I want you to worship me. I want you to forget about everything else. And I want you to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Because he's worthy. My God, when you think of God, I was thinking about that today when God said, I'm a jealous God. He said, thou shalt not put no other God before me. I'm a jealous God. I'm a jealous God. You know, people, we can't afford to be jealous like that. See, because, you know, there's always going to be somebody, you know, somewhere, you know, something. But when I thought about God, God said, you know, I'm a jealous God. And he said, I don't want you to put nobody. <laughs> I don't want you to put nothing. In other words, I need you to have a pure heart when it comes to me. I need you to have me on your mind. You know, that's why God say, you know, he say, worse, pray, uh, praise continually. He say, pray continually. So in other words, God is saying, I need you to have me on your mind at all times. My God, is that something? To have God on our mind at all times. And then he tells us, he said, now if you have me on your mind, I will do something for you. He said, I will keep you in perfect peace. Perfect. He didn't say peace of, a little piece of peace. He said, I will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on me. My God, my God. What a promise. If I just keep my mind, if I keep my mind just stayed on him, if I all through the day, if I stop and I give him some worship and I give him some praise, that means my mind is on him. My mind is not on what somebody said. 
My mind is not on what somebody has done to me, but my mind is on him. And that way I'm in perfect peace because I'm keeping my mind stayed on him. I worship you. I praise you. I just want to glorify your holy name. Just out of nowhere. Just open your mouth and begin to praise him. And begin to worship him when the devil is lying to you. Tell him you, you're not going to gonna make it. I praise you. I worship you. I glorify your holy name. My God. My God. My God. See, the devil can't stand, can't stand that. Because you're doing stuff to me, but you're not affecting me. You're not affecting me. You know, no, no, no. You're not affecting me because my mind is on him. I began to say hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just going to see how loud can I say hallelujah in my home. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm giving God the highest praise. I got my mind on him. I'm worshiping the almighty God. I'm worshiping the almighty God. And that's what we got to learn how to do so we can keep our mind stayed on him. We will not be going insane if we keep our mind on God. Because God said, I'll keep you in perfect peace. Uh, I, 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 bipolar got to go. <laughs> it got to go because I got my mind. I got my mind. I got my mind on him. Bipolar and God can't stay together. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, we got to move out of the, this place where the devil is constantly beating us up. And we got to move over into the place where I got my mind on you, Lord God. I got my mind. I'm worshiping you. Lord God, I'm worshiping you. I'm praising you. When I jump out of the bed in the morning and the knees don't want to act right. Lord, I thank you. I just want to praise you. I just want to glorify your name because you're my healer. You're my healer. You're my deliverer. And I speak to these knees. And I say, knees, you're going to function the way you were made to function. I'm keeping my mind on them. You see what I'm saying? I'm not dwelling on the knees not working. I'm dwelling on the king of kings. I'm dwelling on my healer. Oh, my healer, my healer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so that's where we got to begin to, you know, we got to become worshipers. You know, it's one thing to worship, but it's another thing to be a worshiper. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's easy to be a worshiper once a week. <laughs> but it's another thing to be a worshiper every day. Mm. It's another thing to be a praiser every day. Oh, come on now. Come on, come on. We need to move out of just praising and worshiping God when the music is going. I don't need no music. I don't need no music to praise and to worship God. I can make my own music. Glory to God. If I miss a note, nobody will never know it. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We got caught up in stuff. And so God is trying to deliver us from ourselves. When he's trying to deliver us from people. How many of you know the people that told us how to do things, now they ain't doing nothing? Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on. I know some people told me a lot of things. They ain't doing nothing today. I'm so glad I didn't listen to what they had to say. Glory to God. I kept on following God. I kept on, kept on following God. Come on, y'all. We got to keep on following God. When you know you're on the right path, you just got to keep on going. Even if nobody else is going with you, you got to keep on going. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. You go into some people's houses today, you would be shocked at what they're doing up in there. And I'm thinking, don't you know God is still the same God? He was back in 1980. That same God is it could be in your house today. But you went away. You went with, with this new stuff. You know, I heard Jerry Savelle say that one time. Said a man, uh, somebody perhaps pastor was telling him, say, you know, God is doing new things today. Jerry Savelle said he, he ain't just he, he ain't just doing the word and, and, and what y'all doing no more. And so Jerry Savelle said, really? He said, yeah, you need to change with the new thing. Jerry said, when you get through with the new thing, I'll still be here standing on the word. How many of you know Jerry Savelle is still standing? 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. But that man probably ain't standing because he done jumped in so many camps. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If that camp ain't got Jesus in there and it ain't on the word and the spirit, you better jump out of that camp. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. And so when I'm, I'm talking about worship, I got so excited. I, I just, I don't know, I've just been beside myself with just a praise and worship. You know, I can be sitting down doing nothing, and all of a sudden, I find myself going to singing. I just go to singing because I'm just keeping my mind. You know, I'm keeping my mind on him because he's keeping me in perfect peace. You know, I, 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 uh, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I just stand amazed. I just stand amazed how how God can keep you in perfect peace. You know, I was I was talking to my sister-in-law today, one of my sister-in-laws, and uh, you know, I have another sister-in-law that is like my mother. She was like my mother. She took me in after my mama died and everything. She was there for me, and she's really sick right now. And uh, I was telling her, I said, I pray for her. You know, that's all I can do right now is just pray because I realize there's nothing else I can do. I don't pray. I don't pray. I don't went. To you. I don't did all that, you know. But the bottom line is I'm going to keep my mind. I'm going to keep my mind stayed on him. I'm going to keep my mind stayed on him because it's nothing else. When you know it's nothing else you can do, it ain't nothing else you can do. But keep your mind stayed on him and stay in peace. And you can be able to help somebody else that going through what you're going through. Glory to God. I was sharing that with somebody. You know, every time you look at somebody and they happy, don't mean they happy. You know, everything is right in their life. You know, but they got their mind on something other than what you got your mind on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, turn to Psalm 95. What it says, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of a hill of the hill is his also. Wow. The sea is his. And he made it. <laughs> and his hands formed the dry land. Wow, wow. So in other words, God did it all. You know, I was just reading that today, and I kept read, reading that over again. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of, his, uh, of the hill is his also. The sea is his, and he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. And then he said, uh, they said, oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, my God. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, today, if you will hear his voice, my God. Now listen, people, the God... That is the God of the hill. He's the God of the valley. He's the God of the cattle on a thousand hills. He's the God. He, he owns everything. Come on, I need you. I need you for a minute. Just close your eyes. And I need you to just listen to what I'm going to say. I'm talking about the God, our God, that made you. I'm talking about the God that know how many hairs is on your head. I'm talking about the God that know how many teeth is in your mouth. I'm talking about the God that know every, your blood vessels. He knows everything. He knows what's clogged up. He knows what's open. He knows everything. My God. And this is the God that is telling us, I need you to come and worship. I need you to bow down. And let me know that you love me. I just need you not to, I have, since I have made you, you belong to me. I just ask you, don't put no other God before me. Don't, don't, don't bring no other God in my face. All I'm asking you is just let me be God of your life. And then all these promises 
that I have given you. He said, if you're willing and obedient, he said, you will eat the good of the land. He said, I will make you the head if you, if you do what I tell you to do. He said, I'll make you the head and not the tail. I'll make you above only and not beneath. And the blessings will overtake you. With your eyes closed and thinking about it. Why wouldn't we praise and why wouldn't we worship a God like that? Why wouldn't we get rid of ourselves, our hearty spirits, and our disobedience and just fall at the mercy of the Almighty God? Because His grace and His mercy is sufficient for us. His grace and His mercy is everlasting. He daily loadeth us with benefits. We're going to open our eyes one day and a revelation is going to hit us that if it wasn't for the Lord being on our side, we would not have woke up this morning. Oh, my God. The deaf angel could have come into our room last night, but the goodness of God stopped it. And all I'm asking you to do, since I'm so good to you, all I'm asking you to do is praise and worship me. All I'm asking you to do is give me your heart. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. All I'm asking you to do is to praise and worship me. Here I am. I got my son in heaven with me. But because I love you all so much and I wanted to get you all back, I let my son come to earth, go through I, some of everything die on the cross be beat die on the cross thorns in his head I let my son go through all this for you all and still I can't get you to bow down and to worship me oh my God oh my God oh my God there's a shifting a shifting going on in our imagination. God is shifting the way we think. Because a lot of things we take for granted. A lot of things we don't even think about what we're doing. We don't think about what we say a lot of times. But God want to shift the way we think. To know that I love you all so much. I love you all so much. And all I'm asking for is for you to love me back. Love me with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. That's all I'm asking you to do is just love me. Because if you love me with your heart, your mind, and your soul, I won't have to worry about your praise. And I won't have to worry about your worship. Because you are due with it. So right now, I just want you to lift your hands. I just want you to lift your hands. Father, we just thank you that you're worthy. You're so worthy to receive glory and honor. You're worthy to receive glory and honor. You're so worthy to receive glory and honor. Father, we are saying to you tonight, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. You are holy. You're such a holy God. Father, we just thank you tonight. We thank you for what you are doing for us. We thank you, Lord God. You are preparing us to know, Lord God, that when we pray, our prayers will be answered. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are cleansing us. Father, we thank you, Lord God, the way we think. Lord God, our mind, Lord God, is being renewed. Lord God, in the word of God, Lord God. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, and we praise you. We worship you, Lord God. 
Father, we will not put no other God before you. Father, every God that we have erected in our life, erected in our lives, Lord God, we are pulling those gods down. Everything that we put before you, Lord God, Father God, we want to pull those things down, and we want to pull them down now. We want to pull down every idol, every idol in our lives. I don't, we don't care whether it's our children. We don't care what it is. Our husbands, we don't care. We are pulling those things down, and we're putting them in their right position. Father God, and we're bringing you up. We're bringing you up, Lord God, to number one in our lives. Father God, we just say, have your way in our lives. Father, we say, have your way. We are totally, Lord God, tonight we want to surrender. Lord God, we want to surrender our will to you for real. Father, we want to know your voice. We want to hear your voice. Father God, and we want to obey whatever you tell us to do. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, and we praise you. And we just glorify you, Lord God. We glorify your holy name. Father, we just lift up our hands to you, Lord God. Father, we are surrendering, Lord God. We are surrendering our way of thinking. I'm going to say that again because we got to surrender the way we think. We got to surrender our attitudes. We got to surrender. We got to get rid of our attitudes. It's my way or no way. We got to get rid of that in order to be able to go where God want to take us. Lord God, just open, open, open us up. Father God, and just pour in. Pour in, Lord God. Open us up and pour in. Father God, prepare us for the next dimension of prayer. Prepare us for that next dimension, Lord God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, because we are ready to see your glory. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, and we praise you, Lord God. Father, we see in the word of God where the disciples, Lord God, have been, been warned. Don't preach in that name anymore. They, they told them not to go back. But Father God, we thank you, Lord God. They came to their company. And Father, they began to praise you. They began to worship you, Lord God. And the place was shaken because of your glory, Lord God. Father, we want your glory to shake this place. We want your glory, your glory, your glory, Lord God, to come in this place. Lord God, and heal, deliver, Lord God, and set free, Lord God. Father, you said, Lord God, you're going to be bringing people in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. And Lord God, we want the atmosphere. We want this place prepared. Father God, so when people come in, Lord God, Father, they can get everything they need in the presence of God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. We are laying aside. Oh, we are laying aside our way of thinking right now, Lord God. Father, any unforgiveness, Lord God, anything that will mess up your plan, Lord God, in this house, Lord God. Father God, we are getting rid of it right now. Come on, y'all. We want to get rid of everything that will mess up the plan of God in this house. He laboros Sunday. He laboros Sunday. Glory to God. We don't want to think that we've arrived because the anointing is here. No, but it's more. It's more than God want to do in this place. It's more God got to do in our lives. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory, hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name. Oh, come on and charge yourself up. Come on, come on, let God, let God, let God, let God flow through. Come on, let God flow through right now. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on. I want to move my husband out the way. I want to come on. I got to move. I got to move my children out of this spot. I got to move them out of the way. I need God to fulfill. Get in this spot. I need him here. Oh, I got to move my money out the way. I got to get money. Money, you got to get out the way. Everything, my job. I got to put my job out the way. You've been standing in the way of me and God long enough. You got to get out of the way. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. You need to be talking to God right now. You know, you know the idols in your life. You know what they are. And you need to tell them they got to bow. They got to bow their knee. They got to get in their position. You got to move out of the way. And you got to move out right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Nothing is going to stand in our way. Nothing is going to stand between us and God. Nothing is that important that we got to hold on to it. We're letting it go. And we're letting it go now in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Oh, yes, God, it's falling, it's falling down. Our idols are falling down. We're pulling them down, we're pulling them down, and we're pulling them down right now. Every idol, every idol in my mind, I'm pulling you down right now. Every stronghold, I'm pulling you down right now. You kept me from God long enough. I'm pulling this stronghold down right now. Right now. Oh, pure praise, pure worship. Lord God, we want pure worship. We want pure worship. Lord God, we don't want nothing. Nothing standing in the way, Lord God. Nothing standing in the way. Nothing standing in the way, Lord God. Nothing, Lord God, going to keep us. Out of your presence, Lord God. He laborado son darabo de 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 ya. He laborado son darabo de 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 ya. He laborado son darabo de 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 ya. Tarabo de 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 ya. He laborado son darabo de 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 ya. He laborado son darabo de 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 ya. Oh, we worship you. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. We just want to worship. He laboro no son darabo de 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 ya tarabo de 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 ya ha. He laboro no son darabo de 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 ya tarabo de 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 ya ha. Oh yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Freedom. We want freedom to flow through us. Freedom, Lord God. Every blockage, Lord God. Everything, Lord God, that is standing in the way, Lord God. Father God, we want it to flow out, and we want it to flow out right now, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, we are allowing God to move in this place. Uh, allow God to move in your life right now. Yes, Lord God, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory, glory, glory. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah. Oh, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Yes, Lord God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. All our Uzziahs are dying tonight. Lord God, we're letting them die. We were letting them die. Every king, Lord God, that we raised up in our lives, Lord God. Yes, Lord God, hallelujah. Glory to God. He laborado sanda. He laborado sanda rabo de 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 yaha. He laborado sandarabo de 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 ya tarabo de 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 ya ha. 
Oh, yes, God, we thank you, Lord God. Freedom, Lord God. Freedom, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We're going to be able to bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually, Lord God, be in our mouths, Lord God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for freedom. Oh, freedom, Lord God. Freedom, Lord God. Freedom, Lord God. We're free. We're free. We're free, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We'll be able, Lord God, to open our mouths at any time, Lord God, and give you praise as just to worship you, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. No devil, Lord God, will be able, Lord God, to steal our praise. No devil will be able to steal our worship. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, and we praise you. Oh, na na ye ke se ne ya tarabo de 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 ya ha. E la bororo sandarabo de 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 ya ha. E la bororo sandarabo de 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 ya ha. E la bororo sandarabo de 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 ya ha. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for freedom. Come on, come on, lift your hands for freedom. Thank you 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 for freedom. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Who glory, 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 glory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, freedom to bless you. Lord God, bless your holy name, Lord God. Oh, yes, God. Freedom. We thank you for freedom. We thank you for freedom. Oh, let the fresh wind, Lord God of the Holy Ghost, uh, the fresh wind of the Holy Ghost, uh, Lord God, blow, 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 blow fresh, Lord God, upon us, fresh upon us tonight, Lord God. Yes, Lord God, hallelujah. Oh, my God, my God, all heaviness. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Every weight, Lord God, everything, Lord God, that we brought in this place. Lord God, we thank you that is gone and is gone now in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory to your name. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 Who glory be to your name. Oh, glory be to your name. 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 Glory. 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 Glory, glory. Thank you for new eyesight. Thank you for new eyesight. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. We can hear clearer now. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be your name, Lord God. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, Shanda. He laborodo si. He laborodo sanda. He laborodo si de de. 
Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, you're so worthy. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name. Oh, you're so worthy. You're so worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Oh, you're worthy. We, you're worthy, Lord God. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Lord God. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord God. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. <laughs> yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, I don't know whether you know it, but you're in training for raining. If you learn now, you won't have to worry with this later. Glory to God. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, 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 glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, Ooh. glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory, 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 hallelujah, 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 glory to God, glory to God. Ooh, Shanda. <coughs> Glory to God. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. Ah, glory. Mm. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are being trained for reigning. We are being trained to know how to handle situations. If we learn how to praise and to worship God, when situations show up, you just go into praise and worship. It says that praise steal the enemy. It makes the enemy bag back. You got to get back. You got to get back. You got to get back. And so if you learn how to praise God, you can stop the devil dead in his tracks. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Mm. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. 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 Yeah, come on up higher. Come on, come on, come on. Come on up higher. Come on, come on, come on up higher. Come on up higher. Come up on higher. Come up on higher. See, if you learn how to, just learn how to praise God and to worship God. Have you ever heard the story about how this, this woman was being attacked? And instead of getting in fear, she called on Jesus. And when she called on Jesus, this big angel showed up. And the people took out and went to run him. So we got to learn how to operate in our, our, our weapons. See, a lot of times we let the devil defeat us because we shut our mouths and we walk in fear. But we, instead of fear, we got to say, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise is a weapon. 
Praise is a weapon. It says it stops the devil in his track. It seals him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The devil know there is power in praise because he was a praiser in heaven. He know the power that's in praise. And so that's why he don't want you to learn and to do it because he, want, he can defeat you if you don't learn how to praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Why are you crying? You need to just praise him. Glory to God. Stop crying and start praising God. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, I'm going to praise you, Lord God. I'm going to worship your holy name. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Whew. Hallelujah. 